Um, hi. Hello guys. I thought that I would do something a little bit different for you on this channel today. I am going to be doing a vlog because I'm doing something very exciting this weekend. I am finally going to Colleen Hoover's bookstore. I have been wanting to go for so long now. Colleen Hoover, for those of you who don't know, is lives in Sulphur Springs, Texas. I live in Houston, Texas. So it's about four hours away from me. It's like a little bit outside of Dallas, but I have been trying to make a trip there. And my one of my closest friends just recently moved to Dallas. She's working there now. And I'm like, girl, we have got to make a trip to Sulphur Springs. So that is exactly what we are doing this weekend. I'm going with my friend Haley. Colleen Hoover is seriously one of my absolute favorite authors. And she has this bookstore. It is called The Bookworm Box. It's supposed to be really cool just in general, but one thing that is extra cool about it is that every book in the store is signed. I think they cost like a few extra dollars, but literally all the profit from the bookstore goes to charity. So it's just supposed to be a really cool thing to go and check out. I don't know that Colleen Hoover will be there. I assume she will not be. Um, if you guys follow her on TikTok, she's pretty deep in the like final editing stages of her book right now, it seems. So I'm not expecting to run into her or anything, but Either way, I just really wanted to go and Sulphur Springs is supposed to be like a really cute little town. So I just thought I would bring you guys along, vlog the experience for those of you that aren't from Texas and can't make it to her store as easily. I just wanted to give you a little glimpse at it. So yeah, I'm about to head to Dallas right now and we are going to Sulphur Springs tomorrow. So I will probably see you guys when we get there. Okay, we made it to Sulphur Springs. Um, we're, she's very excited about this bookstore. Okay. <laughs> Show them where we're at. We're Show in the middle of a park right now. Because there's freaking baseball fields and a tennis court. We're determined to make a day trip out of this. I'm determined to. So we're basically going to be hitting all of this the... This is also the first time you've ever planned anything. I know. all the. We pretty much are just hitting all the free things to do in Sulphur Springs Yelp page, which has about two and a half things on it. So we are at this park right now currently, and we're gonna go see these glass restrooms where it's like mirrored on the outside, but when you're going to the bathroom, it looks like people can see you. Big tourist attraction apparently. And then we're just gonna walk around and check it out. I don't know if I'm gonna do like a montage moment or show what we're doing, but yeah. We'll, off -road. <laughs> we'll get to the bookstore eventually. Guys, we made it to Imagination Mountain. This exactly what you signed up for. <laughs> Imagination. Imagination. <laughs> it's literally like two feet tall. I'm confused. Y'all, I'm dying right now. Whenever I was looking at things to do here, one of the things was this park and there were pictures of this waterfall and I thought that it was like this whole nature hike thing that you do. And we get here and it's literally this like man-made waterfall in the side of this like cement structure. It literally looks like we're at putt putt right now. <laughs> Like, don't even lie. Like, where are golf clubs? I, aren't you so happy we drove an hour and a half for this? After I drove four hours. Not gonna lie, I kind of need to go to the bathroom, so like, let's go to the glass restrooms. <laughs> the glass restrooms, see you there. So this is the little town, the entirety of the town, basically. It is so, it's so small and cute. We made it, here we are. Are you so excited? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> We are approaching the famous glass toilets. I need you to prepare yourself. So here they are. No thanks. Have a good time. No. I'll stand right here and watch. <laughs> okay, so this is the bathroom. I'm not gonna show the toilet because it's very questionable, but like you can see through it. So like, um, I don't know. I don't think I want to, but this is so weird. <laughs> Well, while Haley is using the bathroom, I will give you my thoughts on the bookworm box. I'm not gonna lie, um, the vibes kind of made me sad. It was very quiet in there. There was like, like literally dead silent. It was very uh, hot and humid and they didn't really say hi to us when we walked in. They were nice once we checked out, but the vibes were just kind of like, 
I was a little disappointed. Like, I just feel like if I had my own bookstore, I would make it so cool. Like, all these little reading nooks, like, decorate it super cute. And it just was, like, a little bit of a letdown. I mean, I love Colleen Hoover with my whole heart. I got a signed copy of Ugly Love. I'll show you. I got a couple things. I'll show you whenever I get home. But I wouldn't, like, travel from many, many hours away to go to it. But, like, if you're nearby and you love Colleen Hoover, do it. But... It's not quite what I thought it was going to be, but overall, Sulphur Springs as a town is so cute. It's like really small, but there's a bunch of really cute little shops. I got some cute little earrings. Um, we found lots of cute clothes. Everybody here has been really nice. It kind of gives me like almost Mystic Falls vibes. There's like fountains and stuff. <laughs> I forgot you can literally see me through the walls. Yes, I was, just, like, watching I was trying to be private, but we like the town. We weren't obsessed with the bookstore, that's what I was yeah. saying. Yeah. But the town is cute, the and if you're... Cute, unless you're getting stalked, because that's... We kind of have been getting stalked. This guy followed us into the bookstore, and it was fine. a we little concerning, him. but... We could take him. We're fine. You're so pretty. Okay, I was gonna wait until I got home, but I want to do my little haul for you now, because I'm excited, and you will see why. First of all, of course, I got my heart and soul ugly love and because it's from the bookworm box it is signed by our queen coho herself and then i got a bookmark she also signed that That's oh okay. it has a bunch of iconic quotes from her books okay that's really cool i love that i also got one of these for my book buddy because she also has prime taste but the exciting thing that we got, she had these little $5 like mystery book bags. And I, of course, got the enemies to lovers because, I mean, of course I did. Okay, it came with some goodies. We've got a little notepad, a little pen, it looks like. And then I think some bookmarks. Cute. Okay, what do we have here? I hope it's a magic tree house. If it's Magic Treehouse and it needs to lovers, I swear. The fact that it was only $5 kind of concerned me. I'm like, surely... Oh! I definitely expected for this to be like a cheesy book with like people on the cover and it was going to make me projectile vomit. So it wasn't like that. So that's that's nice. I haven't heard of this though. It's called Merger by Shell Bliss. Two rivals, one enemy, and an ending no one saw coming. Um, oh, I'll read the little back. When Antonio Forte meets Lauren Bradley, he never expected that making the choice between a possible relationship with her or destroying her company would be a hard one. But when Lauren disappears, the decision is easy. Oh no, there's a typo on the back of the cover. Oh no. If any of you guys have read this book, <laughs> let me know your thoughts down below. Oh my God, I just read the first sentence and it is straight spice. Um, straight, just straight in there with the vulgar, graphic language um maybe i will read it <laughs> um so upon further review this is actually book two in a series which is kind of disappointing so i guess i need to read the other one first if i do read this but we'll just add it to the pile you know it was five dollars i had a great time at the bookworm box but yeah that is my little haul and then i got a bunch of other cute little things from little boutiques in town but i will see y'all when we get home we had to make a pit stop in Paris, Texas, of yeah. course. Yeehaw, am I right? <laughs> Hello guys, I am home. I just wanted to formally end the vlog. I had a super fun weekend this weekend. I'm so happy I finally got to go to Colin Hoover's bookstore. Like I've wanted to do that for so long now. And even if it wasn't like the most amazing magical bookstore I've ever been to, like I got my signed copy of Ugly Love. I can say that I did it. I love Colleen. I have a review coming out on Heartbones in the next few days, so Keep an eye out for that. Let me know if you guys liked this style of video, more like vlog type of thing. I don't normally do that besides like reading vlogs, but if you're into it, maybe I'll do it again. But um, that is it for now. Let me know what y'all's favorite Colleen Hoover book is in the comments. I will talk to y'all very soon. Bye.